Yeah, guys, it was about 30 minutes ago that uh, the Sacramento City Council members voted unanimously to pass that ordinance. Now, it does aim to protect homes and businesses from the homeless encampments around the levees. This new ordinance makes it unlawful for anyone to camp or store personal property near what's called critical infrastructure or in a wildfire risk area. It also allows for the removal of the property. Violators could face a penalty between $250 and $25,000. During a presentation to city council today, Sacramento City Fire said they responded to more than 1,000 homeless-related fires over just a six-month period last year. City officials say city staff was blocked from crucial city facilities multiple times, including Sacramento's water treatment plant, but homeless advocates are strongly opposed to the plan. They say the homeless have nowhere else to go and they believe they'll end up in the neighborhoods. Now, just a moment ago, I spoke to Fire Chief Loesch, who told me this won't be about enforcement right away. He said they'll be working to educate the public. Now, this ordinance does go into effect in 30 days. You may remember last year there was actually a bill that was proposed on the state level that would have made it illegal to uh, have these encampments around the levees that bill died but assembly member Jim Cooper has introduced a AB 1958 that was introduced in January it would prohibit a person from concealing defacing destroying modifying cutting altering or physically or visibly obstructing any levee that is part of the state plan of flood control so while the city it has passed this ordinance on the local level on the state level assemblyman Cooper is also working to to address this growing issue here in Sacramento. Obviously, guys, something that we'll continue to follow, and as it develops, we'll bring it to you. For now, live in Sacramento, I'm Brandy Cummings, KCRA 3 News.